Okay, so we're back here looking at yogurt now. Um, yogurt is one of these things that has been really, really hard to figure out. Um, looking, you know, Greek yogurt's the new phase, and then looking at ingredients and all this kind of stuff. So, kind of want to show you some of the labels that I'm looking at here. So, first one, we've got Yoplait. Um, looking at these ingredients, we've got culturized milk, which is great. There's some sugar, strawberries, modified cornstarch, nonfat milk, gelatin, citric acid, and then some vitamins and probiotics. So, not super bad. So I was like, oh great, this is an awesome one. Well, when I look, the sugar, there's 26 grams of sugar. 24 grams of sugar is six teaspoons of sugar. So you're having, one container is like six teaspoons of sugar. So no thank you on that one. Um, then we go over here and we've got our Chobani Greek yogurt here. And this has non-fat yogurt, pasteurized non-fat and live cultures. So those are your probiotics, which is awesome. Blueberries, evaporated cane juice, which is sugar. Um, locust bean gum, so that's just the um, thing that helps with, like, keep it creamy. And then natural flavor. Natural flavor you gotta be careful with. Sometimes that can be um, bad, sometimes it can be good. You actually have to call the company to figure out what natural flavors is. But this is probably something I would be fine buying. Um, sugars on this one is 17 grams. So again, kind of high in sugar there. Um, looking at our Activia Greek Light. Um, again, we've got non-fat milk, sugar, fructose, water, and then you've got modified food starch, natural flavors, vegetable concentrate, and then we have this carrageenan. I don't know if you've heard about this. This stuff is not good. It comes from seaweed. Something you want to avoid. Almond milk has it too, so you want to be looking for that. Um, and again, sugars on this one, 19 grams. So my recommendation for yogurt is to get this brand here, Faye. What's in it is skim milk and live and active cultures, which are your probiotics. And then we just mix frozen blueberries or fresh fruit with it. And the sugar is nine grams, but that's just stuff that's coming from the milk. There's no added sugar there. And then I start looking at calories and fat, but I'm not worried about that first. I'm first of all worried about the ingredients. So hope that helps. 